Final Fantasy VIII. Believe it or not, this was actually the first true RPG that I have ever played. Bear in mind that Nintendo didn't really pay much attention to the UK back in the day, so we never got any of the true classic RPGs. None of the Final Fantasy games, bar one piece of crap, no Earthbound, no Chrono Trigger, no Super Mario RPG, so it's not unreasonable for me to have missed many RPGs down the line. I remember when 7 was released, and it looked pretty cool, but I didn't have the money to get it at the time, and that came out in 97. I'm pretty sure I got a PS1 in around 98, maybe 99, so at that time of course, this was the new hot shit, and I fucking loved this game. Although for some reason, when I talk to people in America, it's kind of hit and miss. A lot of people love it, but there's also a lot of people that hate it, and I think I know the reason why. It's because they grew up with all of them standard RPGs that I mentioned earlier, and they had a typical way of doing things. To use your magic, you have MP. To learn new spells, you go here, you learn it for your leveling up, and blah 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 blah. You know, the typical shit. But with Final Fantasy VIII, all of that's out the window. You have to draw upon things to get new magic, to get new spells. Wanna learn Firiga? Fucking don't. You just draw it from somewhere, like a draw point. Or even from monsters. You learn new spells by stealing them from monsters. I think it's pretty cool! The only thing I ain't a fan of, say you want to learn Cure. Well, you draw Cure, yeah? But you've only drawn one, or sometimes five, or just a handful, you know what I mean. But when they run out, that's it. You've used up all your cures. It seems a bit stupid, but it kind of makes sense. Kind of. Anyway, I think that's why a lot of people in America don't seem to like it as much. It's because it's so different in its typical mechanics. Something I don't like is when you use a GF, Guardian Force, you have to watch the same fucking cinematic all the damn time. There's no skip. And if you want to make the attack from the GF more powerful, you have to use boost, where you got to tap the controller like a motherfucker and then hold it at the perfect time. And if you fuck it, then well done, you fucked it. It's a four disc game, and the great thing is, by the end of disc one, you've unlocked Balam Garden. That's right, a garden. A garden that floats on the water. <laughs> It'd take too long to explain. I remember the first time I was able to do this. It was awesome, going around the entire map. At least you thought you could go around the entire map. Can't tell you how many times I would get to an island and think, I wanna get on. I wanna get on the island. Get on the fucking island! Why would you get on the fucking island?! The graphics in this game are the tits. The music in this game is wonderful. I mean, it's fantastic. It's the same musician whose name I will not dare try and pronounce. And he's always done fantastic work. Also, unlike other Final Fantasy games, the other members in your team will follow you around. So that's new. And yes, pat yourself on the back if you've noticed that what you're seeing here is not the PlayStation 1 game. This is the redone Switch version. Nicer graphics, and a little advantage on the gameplay. That advantage is that you can speed the fucker up. This is a fantastic little add-on, especially when you're doing grinding, or as I like to call it, training. Grinding always sounds um, a bit suggestive and naughty, but I'll never forget the first time I saw the trailer, which was just the intro for the game. I mean, holy fucking shit. It still looks awesome, even now. That's one thing this game has over Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, the cinematics, yeah, they still look very chibi and a bit crappy. The cinematics in eight, still look pretty damn good. Anyway, that's Final Fantasy VIII, a wonderful RPG, a true, TRUE classic. I will never understand why there's so many people out there that think it's the black sheep and just hate it, but it doesn't matter. If you've never tried the game, go and try it. I reckon you won't regret it.